just got an instant message from a friend I went to high school with, and she's explaining that she's having a massive, she's hosting Thanksgiving for her family this year with a massive crowd, and uh, she lives in a good good sized house, but it's it's just not that big. And I wrote back and I suggested, I think you're going to need to put some of them outside. But here's the thing. She can do that because she lives down in the Sarasota, Florida area. So if you put someone outside for Thanksgiving next week, they can sit at the picnic table out back and it's 80 degrees. You put someone outside here, they're not going to come back again for the next time you invite them. Okay, there's some people out there that you might actually be thinking, yeah, that's not such a bad idea. 933, Bill Colley with you on Top Story. Telephone number for reaching our program, 736-0300. 736-0300. You're listening to News Radio 1310 KLIX at NewsRadio1310.com, and you're next. You're on the air. Morning, Bill. Refugees have been used in warfare for centuries. Sun Tzu taught this in the art of war which is taught at most war colleges in America. Move your refugees into the country you want to take over. Move your spies with the refugees. Put the people in place to do the most damage when they when they try to take over the country. We don't have a clue who's coming in here right now. And Not a clue. Donald Trump is getting criticized among all the other Republicans, but he's been making references to the Trojan horse. And I think we all understand exactly what he means. Uh, it, it, that threat is there, and it, 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 it what? It, it's just mindless to sit here and say. And I brought it up yesterday. If we had a school shooting, we'd be hearing from the left that we have to take away all the guns because just one death is one death too many. On the other hand, if you have a couple of hundred people killed in a terrorist attack or thousands, they tell us, well, you know, they're not all bad. Well, wait a minute. It only took eight of them to uh, to lock down Paris, France. And, and bring an end probably to the European Union before all is said and done. Eight. Eight people did that. Now, you know, there may have had a few more in the planning stages in the background, but there were just eight out on the streets. I don't understand the double standard, and, and, and it just tells you just how clueless the left happens to be. Well, they'll probably wake up all at once one of these days, and it'll probably be a really, really sad day in America. You know, Unfortunately, I mean, uh, unfortunately, I think you're right. I thank you much for the telephone call. There have been uh, terrorist uh, uh, intentions to, you know, we, we think about them mainly happening in places like Washington and New York City, which ISIS is threatening right now, saying those are our two main targets. The latest is they say they're going to blacken the White House. Ha, ha, ha. I get it. Ha, 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 ha. Muslim humor. Ha, 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 ha. On the other hand, we do know that they have talked in the past about taking on uh, th- that big tower in Seattle. What if they knock that thing down? The damage that could cause if that fell on uh, crowded buildings nearby or in traffic it would be terrible. And I'm surprised in France they didn't target the Eiffel Tower, although they may have heard Al Gore was there and thought, hey, he's a fellow traveler. Yeah, he'd welcome us, so let's leave Al alone for the time being. 936, Bill Colley with you on Top Story on News Radio 1310, KLIX and NewsRadio1310.com. The thing is, we picked up now a couple of dozen of these people uh, either in, in Central America or at the southern border in the last few days. How many have we missed? And once they're here, and once they've been sprinkled, part of the th- uh, problem with the resettlement program, they can't afford to resettle them in San Francisco where all the liberals live or New York City where all the liberals live because it's too expensive. You know, you want to dump refugees in some hovel so one of the local business people who's making a lot of money off his income property can continue to make all of his big money. But you can't send them off and you can't house them in in really expensive cities. You house them there, the taxpayers are really going to get upset. So they try to avoid that. So they've been sending them to places around the country. When Trump said they're sending them to places where Republicans live, he was criticized for saying that. But it's true if you think about it. They're sending them because Republicans generally are going to live in places in the middle of the country that aren't quite as expensive, you know, more suited to a Republican lifestyle. So yes, they're going to be spread around the country, so they're sprinkled all over. And, you know, if you've got several thousand refugees and only a few are bad guys, but you've got bad guys sprinkled in little communities and small cities all over the country, think about a simultaneous... Somebody said that the the attacks in France the other day were perhaps a test run to see how you could work this out because they had several... They had the big attack at the theater... But then they had other attacks at the soccer stadium, and they had attacks at restaurants. 
So think about this because they have encryption software that they use. So I also read this the other day. It's become more and more difficult to track what ISIS or even Al-Qaeda happen to be planning because of the encryption software they're using. We can't necessarily see all of the messages going back and forth. If they called a simultaneous attack across the Western world, I'm not saying just Europe, but North America as well, we've already had an attack. An attacker got into the Canadian Parliament for crying out loud. But if they pulled these off, and let's say you started having, you could have simultaneous attacks in Washington. You just put out the word. One day there's an email blast that goes out to all of your agents. And you tell all of the agents, today is the day. It's going to happen at, I don't know, we'll do it at 11 a.m. Eastern time, which of course will still be a heavy business traffic time on the West Coast too as well. And we'll do it all over the country, wherever you happen to be. Just go do it today. And if all of a sudden these things flare up, and if, if you're in a smaller community and you get a call and you have to respond to one of these things happening, and then as you're en route to that location, and then you, you start getting calls that there are three or four more of these going on, you're going to overwhelm local law enforcement. This is why it's important that Americans arm themselves, because a good guy with a gun can help out in this crisis. And this will be going on simultaneously in large cities all over the country. So it'll be happening in Los Angeles. It'll be happening in Dallas and in Houston. It'll be happening in Boise and Spokane and Seattle, but it'll also be happening in Twin Falls. It'll also be happening in Kearney, Nebraska. It'll also be happening in Texarkana. It'll also be happening in small towns across the country where they've been peppered with these people as well. Little tiny towns, you know, Bemidji, Minnesota, Cuba, New York, where I grew up. How in blazes are we going to deal with that then? I'll tell you what, people are going to say, Franklin Roosevelt wasn't so wrong when he rounded up all of those Japanese Americans and put them in camps. There will be a hue and cry so great in this country to round up every Muhammad we can find on the street, Muhammad and Muhammadan, and round them up, put them on planes or whatever, and get them the heck out of here. It won't be pretty. A liberal is a, well, conservative is a liberal. We'll get into that a little bit later. Here we are near the end of the week, so if you have a comment or question, feel free to give me a telephone call. Bill Colley on Top Story this morning, News Radio 1310 KLIX and News Radio 1310.com. And as I mentioned earlier, going to be a rally and a counter rally tomorrow at uh, the state capitol in Boise, 11 o'clock. You've got people who are there, uh, the, the liberal gang, who are screaming and crying that we're all being bigoted and mean spirited because of our ridiculous terrorism fears, they're planning to have a rally. They want to denounce the governor and all of those people who say it's time to suspend the refugee program. On the other hand, those of us who are commonsensical and of right mind are planning a counter demonstration, 11 o'clock at the Capitol. And they're also doing a drive, uh, doing a coat drive, because you have a lot of homeless people who are very cold this time of year, and many of them are veterans. And the government would rather take care of, as Mr. Obama says, uh, orphans and widows and terrorists too, of course, than its own uh, fighting men and women, many of whom were traumatized by war, came home and are now living in homeless encampments. It's 945. We have a caller with us. You're next. You're on the air on Top Story. Hey, Bill. Hey, uh, you know, they're always bragging, I guess, about how quiet and how uh, safe it is to live here in Twin Falls. Well, that day is gone now. You know, it's a good place to bring up your kids and all this, but that day is gone. Of course, just possibly, too, because of the growth of the city has been so fast and rapid, uh, you get bigger and bigger, you're going to have some issues anyway. Yes. But but I do believe that, uh, that this this polyglot probably worked well for a while because uh, at one time a lot of the immigrants coming here, whether they were Muslim or they were a Christian, I don't think most of them were people you'd consider very dangerous. They were just looking for... But I, that's why I'm not opposed to Syrian refugees. On the other hand, I don't know how many of them are bad guys, and we've got to sit back because of the situation we're seeing develop around the world and say, wait a minute, let's let's take a breath and let's make sure that we're not going to all die because of this. That's correct. I agree with you. Okay, thanks. Hey, thank you much for the telephone call. We have another caller joining us. You're up next on News Radio 1310 KLIX, and what's on your mind? Hey, Bill, you know, you, you were saying that they wouldn't, uh, they don't, want to put these people in all the liberal cities because it costs too much. You sure that that's it, or is it because the Republican community is a majority Christian? 
That possibly is it. Break down the Christian communities and uh, I, I, I think our, our Muslim in chief uh, is is has got this plan. Everybody calls him stupid. I don't think he's stupid. He's doing exactly what he wants. But here's the thing you got to think about too as well. All of the wealthy limousine liberals who scream and cry and call people bigots and racists, they don't even live near the uh, the illegal aliens. They and, and they're not going to live near refugees. They're all you know they're protected from it. What they mean is if there's going to be a problem, they want everyone else to to tackle that. They're going to be uh, how shall we say uh, what's inoculated against it. Well, you know, it's, it's no different than anything else that's been going on for the past what. 30, 40 years, the, the people that want to tell us how to, to treat our timber and our animals and everything else don't live here. They live on the East Coast. Yes. <laughs> it's, the same, it's the same thing, you know. They think they want to do everything, but they've ruined their place, but they want to control everything else. Thank you much for the call again. It's that totalitarian impulse you find in leftists. You're up next at 947, and uh, good morning to you. What's on your mind? Hello? Going once? Going twice? Going three times? 736-0300. That's 736-0300. Or you can email me at bill.colley at townsquaremedia.com. That's bill.colley at townsquaremedia.com. You know why you can't get a lot of people in government to pay any attention? This is out of the, uh, the opinion commentary section of the Wall Street Journal today. The average federal worker's compensation is worth $120,000 nearly 80% higher than the average in the private economy. No one wants to mess with a good thing, and some of these people are employed resettling refugees, right? You're up next, and you're on the air. Hey, Bill. I am uh, so sick and tired of every time I get on and watch the television and we see the playground bully get up and start lecturing us on what America is, I've been sick and tired of this guy trying to rewrite history. The community organizer is a failure. Well, he the, lived his formative years in Indonesia, and uh, and even though Hawaii, they don't Hawaiians don't even want to be part of the country any longer. Uh, they want to they want to have an economy that looks more like Samoa, that is decrepit. Uh, he really didn't have a lot of experience at living in the continental United States. But this guy gets up and lectures us in a bullying type manner. That's not a presidential uh, posture. He's a little coward. He gets uh, in a foreign country and starts bashing the country he's supposed to represent. We need this guy needs to be tried for treason and sedition. You know, and I don't know why. I don't know why we don't start with him because it it doesn't mean anything if we don't make it mean something. At least when Jimmy Carter was condescending, he did it in a nice Baptist way. But this guy, the finger wag starts and the you know the put downs and the name calling and yeah, you're right. He's completely out of control. When when we say we don't know who's coming here, when Syrians, it's very simple. A Muslim is a believer in or an adherent of Islam, and if they don't want to, if they don't want to be classified Muslim, it's up to those people to get out of it. Because as long as they are must say they're Muslim and they're following Islam, Islam is the Quran, and you don't. It does not take. A high degree of education to read that to see what it's all about. Hey, thank you much for the call. And keep in mind the one good thing about all this today. 14 months from today, we swear in a new president. Coming up, Mike Gallagher brought to you exclusively by the financial advisors at Waddell and Reed in Twin Falls. The telephone number is 736-6563.